Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here. Mutana will be joining me shortly as we are going to do a cooperative LP of Divinity Original Sin. It released today on Steam and it is by Larian Studios. And we're going to do the cooperative side of things, so that could be problematic, could be fun, I don't know. We haven't really touched the game because we saw when we first went to LP this that the saved games wouldn't necessarily stay from patch to patch, so we didn't want to get partway into the LP and then have to cancel, start over, and all of that nonsense. So we're going to start it up. In just a little bit of time here, we'll hop in and get going. But first, I want to show you guys what's what in the game. So I'm going to show you the different classes and characters that you can play as, and then Yutana will join me and we will pick our characters and go from there. There's quite a few different classes you can choose, and I think I'm probably, I'm pretty set on wanting to play the Cleric. I generally like a healing class most of the time, but I also play tank pretty often, high melee damage dealer, I play, I play pretty much everything. I generally, the only thing I don't play very often is the archer or a ranger or anything of that nature. So, you have the option of a male or female character, and then you can completely customize the hair, everything, including the underwear, which I find to be very odd. And I'll demonstrate. So, you can have. I may have a blade or two that could use a honey. Hold. What can I cook up? Careful. What child? No, hold. So, you have all that. I'm sorry. You have all the different colors of skin. What was she? She was somewhere around there. There ish. The different heads. It's whatever. Um, then you have the hairstyle, of course. And the hair color. I mean, it's all pretty basic. That's horrible. There we go. You can go up to any kind of weird, bizarre color you want. I mean, and then you have the underwear. I don't really understand why you can change underwear, or what purpose that serves, but apparently it's there and it's something you can do. So, enjoy that, I guess. Alright, so we're going to go over the different classes. We have a wizard, a scholar of magic specialized in starting and ending battles with a flick of the wrist, exacting swift victory from a safe distance. Battle Mage amplifies brute strength with powerful magic. Then we have the cleric who heals allies or smashes skulls depending on the direction of the winds. The enchanter prefers, prefers to turn the tide of the battle from afar, manipulating foes with powerful magic. A fighter is a brutal warrior and expert in close combat. Then of course we have the knight, which is specialized in war tactics, knights are trained not only to fight, but to rally troops. The ranger, a marksman with a legendary knack for self-preservation, a rogue with a lot of skill and a little luck, this rogue sees the world as an open coffer. Shadowblade, a powerful assassin whose arsenal of both daggers and magic would terrify any enemy, if they ever saw it coming. The Wayfarer, a survivalist and practitioner of magic, the Wayfarer is hard to hit and even harder to evade. Then of course there's the witch with the sparkly, shiny, floaty stuff on the end of the stick. An intimidating presence whose bone-chilling powers terrify friend and foe alike. And then back to the wizard. So those are the classes, and again you have male, female, you can completely change the character's look, you can change the little portrait of the character to match whatever you want. Change the skin color. You can change the head to several different things. Again, the hair. The hairdos are quite fun. Then you can change the hair color, and of course, you can see him in his underwear as well because that's just awesome. I guess I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer. But there you have it. So these are not going to be the characters we choose, but we will choose something somewhere somehow along the way and. We'll be back in just a second with our character selection. Okay, we're back. Mutanat, hello. Hello. So Mutanat is the Frohawk uh, guy with a little Fu Manchu with the Summer honey size. almond bronze colored skin. <laughs> and I'm the pale guy with the green beard and the fading hairline. Because you're from Canada. Canada. People do have green, green hair. Ironically, we look very similar. I know. I feel like we shopped at the same place and this is going to get really yeah. awkward. Thank Thankfully, I have green hair. All right, we're going to get started and well, watch whatever videos and things that pop up. Hopefully it's not overwhelming. In the loud days of old, the sorcerers of Rivalon cured the sick and healed the wounded through a great power called Source. The Source. But a terrible darkness invaded the land and Source was forever tainted. Sounds familiar. The sorcerers who once healed now only destroy and madness has overtaken them. 
A few hurt. brave source hunters are all that stand between Rivalon and the dark power that threatens to destroy it. Wherever source appears, hunters follow. Yeah, they do. I guess we're hunters. Uh, sounds very similar to the plot of the uh, Robert Jordan books, Wheel of Time. Or just about any other thing at all. Yeah. Larian the one whose horse was painted presents. drove the men crazy. I apologize for the volume. Rise and shine, Look, Master Source Hunters. The captain wants you up on deck. Yeah, them goals means we're close to shore. I don't ever you go in there, Master Source Hunters. City's full of undead, hungry enough for blood. But you're supposed to investigate that murder, ain't you? They say it's Source that did the counselor in. Source in a city like Sicile. Nowhere safe anymore. Here they are, Captain, sir. God's blessings on you, hunters. Thank You'll you. be happy to hear we've reached Sicil. But yeah. there's trouble offshore, so we'll have to sail in carefully. Here, have a look. Those Say are the word ships, again. and they're blocking our huh? passage. We'll get you as close to the city as we can, and drop you off on the beach. So we can find be the... Be wary now. Source Orcs the are on the attack. <laughs> Undead have closed every route out, and there's a sorcerer on the loose. There we go. If we're to get justice for the counselor, oh, you'll have to sorcerer. keep your wits about you. May the luck of the gods be with you both, Source Hunters. Okay. There's a very, very loud intro video that you my ears are bleeding. I know, it's just painful. We apologize in advance for your I'm a sword doctor's visit. Sword. Okay, well that was, uh, wow. Go, go, source ranger. Alright, welcome to Divinity. I'm not going to read these things. Okay, so, do we, ooh, we can even split up. Look at this. Oh, I need to lower my sound. Okay, well, we'll let Mutana get himself situated. Why am I walking? Should I might be running... There, well, I, I seem to start running and then I start walking again immediately. Hmm. But I can do this. Alright, so what do we have? What are the three abilities? I have minor heal. Heal nine vitality on a target over three turns. That seems pretty low. Um, I'm not sure what that does. Decreases willpower and bodybuilding. Okay. And I have melee power stance. Are you hiding in the bush? Yes, I, you are. I am. I'm sneaking. Oh, okay. C, C is your sneak ability. I, I don't know why I'm wa Oh, I, I'm kind of running now. Now I'm walking again. So, that's kind of intriguing and interesting. What does your right mouse button do? Uh, I don't think it does anything right now. If you hold alt... Sorry, guys. We are kind of going through the motions here to figure out what it is that we're doing. If you hold alt, you'll see different things. Take that, whatever it is I'm doing to you. I think you have to click on me. That's not going to do anything to me, though. Alright, well, let's go this way. There's a broad skull over here. And you're healing over time. And there's a chest, or a box, that has nothing in it. And two shells. I didn't know there were orc ships ready to the west. I'd mistake this for a placid beach. At least the orcs make a bit of noise when they attack. It's dark and it's Holy crap. Morning morning. Wow. Certainly make a big chaotic mess. Alright, well, I guess grab some shells. Remember, hold alt and you'll see things laying on the ground. I don't know what they're for, but they're clearly laying around. They want us to grab them. They told me themselves. I have my power stance too. See, I have glowing orange feet. What? Oh, my guy seems to like he starts jogging and then he's just like, nope, I'm gonna walk slowly instead. Let's see what this does. Oh. Oh, are you? What? Oh, hello. What the heck did you just do? Same, Kame. <laughs> that's called a tactical retreat that's what that is right there oh, that's interesting so, also I can fly yes and jump really really high apparently hmm 
That's weird. I have a skill that launches stuff from a staff, but I don't have a staff, so... Alright. Well... Is that a corpse? What's it doing here? Oh, huh, there's a corpse over here. With a scroll of rain. Just in case we, uh, you know, we get thirsty, we like to get our rain scroll. You can hit I. Oh. Container. You can open and use containers to organize your inventory. Huh. I have a backpack, apparently. Surprise! I don't know what these shells do. It says I can use the shells, but I don't know for what purpose, though. The Order of Source Hunters. A Brief History. I can read about it, but I'm not going to. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so you figure out what we're supposed to be doing yet? Other than exploring the... Found uh, bad guys. You did? I should probably be over by you. Did you loot everything on your way? Mm. Oh gosh, you're actually fighting them right now, aren't you? Looks like you're in this general direction. Or they're running away from me. Arise, drawn forth from okay. Blood. I bid you aid is this turn-based fighting? It is. So we're that each gonna have. More sense. We're each gonna have uh, action points. So it says combat is turn-based. To move, attack, cast a spell, you need to use action points. They have different costs. So. All right. Right, Hold, control, and hover over targets to learn more about their attributes. Yep. Unfortunately, you're ahead of me. I'm supposed to be your tank. I think you do have the first turn, it appears. And then I get the next turn. Hmm. I can do ricochet. Well, if you want, you can leap back toward me. I don't know if that's good or bad, but... Um, Chances are this first combat's not going to be that big of an issue, so feel free to try out whatever skills. I mean, even if you get hurt, I always can heal you. Of course they're immune to poison. Why oh, wouldn't they be? <laughs> you chose poorly. <laughs> <laughs> I made a terrible decision. <laughs> yeah, range power stance. I think you just turned it off, actually. You had it on already. There you go, now it's back Rage on. power stance. Totally knew that. Oh gosh, I'm using up all my action points. Retreat. Or shoot, or do something. I, I, I can't. I don't have action. How many action points? I have two action points left. Can you back up? Or hit, maybe hit that button on the bottom. Space, hit space, end your turn. Yeah, run away. Two action points, back up steps. Alright, unfortunately, you had to lay that garbage down on the ground. You're welcome. Right, I'll try to get ahead of you. Sure, yeah, I was going to say, is it your turn to move now? Yeah. Good. Fortunately, I was so far back that it's not really going to matter. So I'll just move to the front lines and tank up whatever comes my One way. One action. Oh, you can preserve action points. Darn it. Well, apparently. Uh -oh. No, he found me. Surprise! I don't think he can actually attack you though, so. Alright, so. Good. Let's go with fire this time. That does sound like a better choice. Ooh! Oh gosh! Uh oh. oh. What have I done? Why are you melting us? <laughs> it's not supposed to be friendly fire. Nobody told me about friendly fire. It's terrible. It's my turn? Oh. I think. Okay. Get out of the fire! Get out of the fire! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, you're just cooking yourself. Get out of the fire! For the love of all things holy! Can you shoot that guy? No, it takes five action points. Yeah, you failure. Wow. I'm not used to having to pay for my actions so much. This yeah. whole consequences thing sucks. Consequences do kind of own you a little bit. It is sad. Ooh, I preserved two action points. That was me. Oh, you can pass them on to me? I don't know. But I'm the blonde haired dude. Oh no. Oh, why did you walk there? I didn't click there at all. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> wow. Let me just turn my back to the enemy here. Face. 
No big deal. All right, I'll stun him. Let's preserve my uh, my beauty, apparently. Jeez. Yeah. Stunned. <laughs> well, we'll figure out how to actually play <laughs> relatively soon. This is we'll our get first better attempt. Eventually. Or will we? I assume this probably should have been ended in like five or six seconds. But we're so amazing at the game, we had to prolong it, of course. There we Their go. Leader said something about escaping with a stone. The stone. stone this dungeon, I imagine. Can we get inside? I bet we could. But will we? Alright, well, before we do any of that horrible stuff, let's, uh... Can you heal me? Yeah, let's do a little bit of that. That whole healing type thing. Let's just move around. You should heal automatically. Oh. We will in a moment. I'm gonna wait till I can heal myself as well. Uh, there's a shell over here I'll grab. Alright, ready to go into the dungeon? I guess. Can't be worse than that last go. Alright, onward. I believe it's this way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why my guy walked the way he walked. An ancient stone gate. Hey. So we can even split up in this game. That's kind of a cool feature. Huh. There's a bone pile. I can get a skull. That sounds exciting. I can apparently turn off candles. Oh! Congratulations there, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is a bone pile. Boy. You are... Can we rename you to Captain Obvious? I... Ooh, totally just lit those candles. You see that ambiance I'm creating here? Hey, hey, I turned those candles off. You're you're negating all my hard work. Hey, I found a, a knife. A paper knife. What is a paper knife? My source hunter's mace is far better. And inside this uh, non-broken thing over here. Oh, look. Uh, I just got a He Who Smelt It novel. <laughs> yes, you did. Uh, the chest is locked. I'll just beat it to death. That worked pretty good. There's a knockdown arrow on the ground. If you hold alt, you can see it there. That might be cool for you. Might not be. Alright, so we are slowly figuring out that we don't know what we're doing. But we will figure it out, ladies and gentlemen. It is true. Come this way. I want to read my book. You have to read it aloud if you're going to read it. Alright. Ooh, you unlocked a recipe. How'd you do that? Quite a good deal. Of, I read the he who smelt it. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Quite yeah. a good deal of extra income can be earned by forging and selling one's own unique brand of axes. Crafting experience naturally produces better results. Okay. Really? I have this whole large The Order of the Source Hunters, a brief history book that I have to read, which I'm not going to do right now. But good. So, we don't know how to use recipes yet, but... It's interesting that we have some. Oh, you're oh. doing stuff again. Uh, apparently. I think if you right click or hit escape, you can drop that. Okay. Alright. I got rid of my shiny pants. Ooh, we can, we can move stuff out of our way. That was weird. Alright, uh, you just click and drag stuff out of the way. Make sure you loot it first, I guess. Be my only uh, qualifier in that. Assuming there's anything in any of this stuff. Oh, you can even set it on top. That's interesting. I can send stuff to you. If I cared. Yeah, if you weren't a greedy little bass catcher, yes, you could send some stuff to me. Alright, well, I guess we're clear of that. Well, that sounds bad. All right, well, I'm going to do this. <laughs> Jealous? <laughs> I threw mine on there, too. I just got a broad skull. Creepy. Slightly creepy, I suppose. Um, Here, that's for you. Gee, thanks. This I know. I spoil you. You do, yay, I can now Tomb not... Tomb What's that? Oh. 
I can now not on a. Oh. I will okay. unlock it because you didn't pick up the key first. I will get the money. I red dwarf the red dwarf. What? Stop lifting things. You're weird, man. All right, let's move down this general direction. Let's see what's over here. See any more mines screaming? Does it have to have so much echo? I mean, it's really echoey. Is it echoey for you too? Yeah, a little bit. Ooh, healing potion. Looks like some empty bottles. Let me know if you're gonna get yourself into danger. I see a yellow spot on. Oh, there's a couple of them. This one's moving over here on the mini map. It's a rat. Oh, apparently we can talk to it. The talent Pet Pal will allow you to converse with animals. Squeak, squeak. Yeah. What was that? I think you were talking to the rat. It's possible. The rat just said squeak, though, to me. Then I heard a voice afterward. I gotta say, it was a bit off putting. Oh, I found another health potion. I found a mushroom. You would find a mushroom. I hear windy sounds now. Oh, it's a waterfall. Okay. Hey, I found something. Assign points to your perception stat to reveal traps and secrets. Ooh, I found a secret passageway. I found lockpicks. That also sounds pretty impressive. Alright, well so far, not that much action, I gotta say. But, again, this is... I wonder how I use the lockpick now. I know how I can open the chest. I use a lockpick. Uh, maybe you have to put it onto your hot bar. I'm not sure. Come here, mousey. There it is. Stop talking to the mouse. <laughs> Just creepy. It is a little creepy. I'll give you that. Score 50 gold. If you hold the middle mouse button, you can uh, turn the camera if you wanted to. I guess let's go to your secret passageway. Yeah, I think we've cleared this area, or mostly cleared it anyway. I see something on the bottom right of my screen. It looks like a. Oh, yeah. It's just the chat screen. What did that say? You can look behind walls and stuff by holding the middle mouse button. Yeah, they say that, but it doesn't seem to work for me. Door doesn't look very sturdy. Apparently it wasn't. I could have picked a lock. Yeah. Oh! Gee, he told nice. you. Thanks. Alright, I'm going to do a quick save here. Just because I can. Bashing through all of your all those doors. Okay, well you get to get that chest or barrel then, because I'm certainly not going for it. Where? One in the middle of the uh... fire. Yeah, or you can just use this. Oh, I'm not strong enough to pick that up. Hmm. I'm about to bash it. <laughs> oh, you're strong enough to pick it up. Oh gosh. You just broke the water barrel, why? That's how I roll. Fire can be removed by water. Use a water sp Oh, I have a water spell. Why don't I do that then? And I call upon the rain eventually. Look how amazing I am. You didn't do that. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Be afraid. It the vase is wet. With the vase, if you prefer. Why are you hurt again? I don't know. Why aren't you hurt? Because I try to avoid getting hurt. It's not healthy for you to be hurt all the time, man. Hurting on the inside. 
That just sounds wrong. Ooh, I found a torch. That I can light. Hey, and I found an Adventurer's Field Guide, Volume 8. Book about crafting. And I, too, have lockpicks now. Because I'm amazing. And I found a shovel, which is a two-handed weapon. Do you want a shovel to use? Oh, you can dig with a shovel as well. I'll skip that one. Give me one sec, guys. Let me find where the shovel thing was. Oh, it's gone. Hmm. Well, now I'm sad. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, mm. the whole world just shook. What did you do? Nothing. After you use your lockpicks, it were it, you get rid of them apparently. And how did you use it? Did you I, put it on the I, and then I just right clicked and then hit use. So, and then click on. I'm doing it right now. Stop it. Too late. Is it? I did it. That was me, not you. No, it was me. It was me. I don't have lockpicks anymore. I know. I do. Hence it wasn't you. Wouldn't that mean it was me? You said you didn't have lockpicks before. No, I'm saying I don't have any more. Mine's gone Try from inventory. Try placing an object over the pit to stop the surface cloud from spreading. I'll blow up the barrels. Was easy. Interesting. What if I want to get over there to that amazing chest that I can't get to? You gonna man up and walk through it? Where? Uh, over there. I'm gonna do it. Oh, apparently there's nothing to really worry about. For some reason, that was fine. I have a knockdown arrow that I'll give you. Or you can just take oh, it out. Oh, figure it. <laughs> and I'm poison. That's why does this not surprise you. me? That's you. That's always you. So see, this is why he does stuff, and it's terrible. Alright, well, at least you get your arrow. Alright, so the exploration is going. Ooh. Okay, we can enter sneak mode. All right, well, before we do this, then, ladies and gentlemen, once Mutanda is back across the poison plain of death, and I might have to heal him once again, we'll break off the episode, and then we'll continue in episode two. Most likely. Oh, gosh. It's it's hard being green. Nope. Oh, hey. it did poison me the time. You're First a hero. Try. You're a hero. All right. Um, so we're going to go get the vase on the top of the pedestal. That's where we'll break off the episode once nothing you get there. that. Oh, nothing. All right. All right, guys, we'll be back with the next episode as soon as we can. Oh, Till then. Chock full of action. <laughs> Till then, I'm Bumpy McSquiggums, he's Mutanot, and we will see you later.